So it's no question that I'm an LGB guy. This is probably my favorite engine I've ever owned. It was my dream when I was in high school. Finally got one. This one has smoke and sound. It's all just DC, analog. I love it for what it is. It's another one of my dream engines. Oh, it's nice. But today, I'm sharing with you something from a different company. And there it is. Not even out of the box yet. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pico BR50 Deutsche Bund version is here. Here it is, Pico BR50. A little history on this, it's been a long time coming. I like big giant engines and in G-Scale a big giant engine uh, is a big thing. So uh, they don't always make a mass market engine that is uh, somewhat affordable but really stinking big. So I really wanted a big, stinking big German engine, and that's what this is. So I'm kind of unfamiliar with the Pico brand. Um, you know, I have a few tracks, I have a few accessories. Um, I am actually going to be running this on the Pico RC unit. I did get the DCC version because it has smoke, sound, bells and whistles, and disappearing coal load and stuff, which are functions of the DCC system but this does run on analog and I, I guess I'm just old school I thought of investing in the DCC but I just decided I'm gonna keep it uh, you know pretty old school I, I like just that kind of functionality of it and this one still does the job as far as entertainment so let's let's get it out let's take a look So this is a tender engine, so it's going to have the main locomotive and then the tender which has the coal and water. Uh, so that's why it's really a big box. There it is. This is a Deutsche Bahn version. Pictured here is the Deutsche Reichsbahn, but it has a slightly different front end, and that's a difference, and that's why I waited for the Deutsche Bahn. So we will see. The outer box did say Deutsche Bahn, just saying. So you know. Light one is the tender. This is the locomotive. Instruction book. Detail packet. Little ladders and stuff. Nothing too special. Let's see, here we are. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Gosh, it is the right version. Wow. That's nice. I'll go ahead and do the tender now and then set up a track and have a nice little display. Da, da, da. Again, the reason why I chose the Deutsche Bahn version is because of the front end details it is actually closer resembling the BR-52 and uh, the BR-52 has a slightly different tender but if you take the tender and make a BR-52 tender then the whole thing looks pretty accurate to a BR-52 but 
Here's the tender. Very square. Ah, it's a big tender. <laughs> Look at that thing. There it is. I'll set this up, give you a nice look at it. LED lights. All wheel pickup. Smoke juice. I'm gonna get some track. These trains are all plastic, so you gotta be careful where you lift it from. Alright, chassis. That's big. Oh, wow. That's a big, big, long engine. Plastic, lots of plastic. Hopefully it's a good runner. And there it is. It's all done. Uh, put on the little accessories and uh, I actually read the instructions the instruction book is actually quite nice uh, has lots of information color diagrams um, you know it's in English for us and uh, important note I wanted to know how do you turn off the smoke or the sound or uh, change the volume it's all nicely set up in the tender right on the bottom here Here's a little on and off switch, a little volume knob, and uh, I like that it's in the tender because I really don't like fiddling around with the locomotive uh, too much. And everything is connected through this nice big chunky plug that connects the tender and the locomotive. It keeps it really nice and clean. I like that. And at this point I think we're ready to give it a run on the layout. Gotta run it in, actually. Getting ready for its maiden voyage. Remember, this is DC controlled, so I cleaned the track. I'm using the Pico remote control system. It is analog. This engine has not been run in, so that's the order of the day. Let's see if we have a, a little bit of power. site that is I want it to be authentic about this being the first real run-in so uh, the controllability wasn't all there with that RC controller I had to get used to it but um, as we will see at the end of this video it gets a lot easier to control but it ran good didn't derail nice even with my not so great track it worked
for some final thoughts or review. This is an awesome engine. Even though I'm running on a DC layout, it works like a DCC. It responds to the control. All the sounds are there. The smoke is there. The light is there. Uh, it looks great. And the mechanism, after a run in both forwards and, of course, backwards, uh, it seems to respond very well. It does take quite a bit of uh, smoke juice uh, as it does pump out a lot of smoke, but man, that is that is a fun element. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I'm going to leave you with the nighttime running session. Uh, it's going to look great, and I'm quite happy with it. Enjoy it.